Hey everyone, you are invited to join me on a shopping trip that I went to at Harrods. Um, I also purchased some things, so I'm gonna do a haul at the end of this. One thing I need to ask for anyone watching who knows anything about knitting, anyone who doesn't, I found the most incredible place where you can, you know the Isabel Morant style jumpers that are like nearly a thousand pounds? I found a place where they, you get the pattern, you can make it yourself. But for anyone who knits, I'm really stuck on something. So please watch until the end to find out what I'm stuck on. But also the haul is at the end as well. I hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm back at Harrods. Just a day out, I'm on my own today. And uh, like without David, David's at home. And what I thought I would do is, do you remember last time I came in how I showed you the, a bit of the deal collection, but Enrique wasn't in at the time, um, so I didn't try anything on. Well, he's in today, and I plan to see him at four o'clock, so I've got 40 minutes. Before I do that, I wanna go and have a look at some of the beauty items and get some makeup and stuff like that, so you can come with me. aren't they? I really like these um, sort of like Asian characters. I've actually got this in a lip balm at home, that one there. So, just come in here to try this because I saw it and I thought, mm, it's quite cool, like it's a blazer jacket but it's a bit more I think it's like that nylon Prada kind of thing. So I'm just gonna try this, my outfit today. I'm a bit early, but hopefully that's fine. I'm really looking forward to looking at this bag because <laughs> I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, so come with. Well, that's nice too. A lot of you were asking to see the book tote in the um, cheetah print, so I'll try and show that for you as well. Hey. Just waiting for Enrique, and we are gonna um, go through the collection. So the collection, he's, I think he's gonna give me more info, but the collection is split into three parts. You've got the leopard print kind of stuff. Then you have the kind of pinky red, which is here. And then finally, there is a navy blue, and the navy blue is here. So you've got three um, kind of styles in the collection. The collec I can't remember what the collection's based on, but it's very, some of it's really kind of share from Clueless in a really cool, more grown up way. So there's lots of checks, um, matching skirts with blazers as well. Um, kind of, you know that kind of, you know how like in Clueless she'd wear like a, top matching the skirt and that kind of thing so there's a lot of that in it but I really want to see the bags so hopefully we get to see the bags hello Enrique hi Sophie hi <laughs> hi <laughs> Enrique was just look, look at this hairband so oh cute, right? the inside as well mm -hmm. is there a certain way that it works oh it looks like a cram now it so looked like very, very top, cute. Very oblique. Today. Very oblique, darling. Isn't it? <laughs> I had no clue 
Uh, how much is this for anyone who... It's 560 pounds. Okay. It's embroidered as well and it's super durable mm -hmm. and it's classic oblique. Super durable. S exactly, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm hilarious today. Okay, so 560. Mm -hmm, correct. 560. Okay. Correct. For anyone who is interested. Gorgeous. This it feels like book tote material. It is. Yeah. It, it's canvas as well, so it's mm. really durable and it's just eternal Dior. <laughs> Keep saying that. <laughs> durable. D durable. <laughs> I've had so many of you in that last video. Did you? You were in the last video, so I you was. probably saw it. Yeah. So many people were asking to see this in more detail, and. It actually looks really nice. I know it's clashing at the moment with the oblique, but it actually it's a lovely bag. And it looks like textured leather, to me anyway. Are we focusing? It looks like textured leather, but it's actually woven fabric and it's very heavy. It's it's heavy on the book tote heavy side of things. Is my thought. Very nice. And this goes with this collection. I'm going to let Enrique take it away and explain what each bit of the collection is. Of course. For those of you wondering where Anne Lee is, Anne Lee has left and is starting his new venture at the end of June, which I will talk to you about once it commences. But Enrique is, well, he. You're my original person. It was always you and Anne Lee. So anyway, look, that's confusing. I'm gonna put um, Enrique's details below for anyone who desires anything. I just want to mention that uh, Anne Lee and I were really good friends. So, and also I, I read some yeah. of the comments and we're so different as people, but yeah. we're quite similar. So please let me take you through the collection. Yes. So this is the pre-fall collection. So here we have a classic Dior dress. Yes. But it's been updated uh, with a bit of folding there and, and a zip. So mm -hmm. you can actually go a bit more sexier if you want. Oh, okay. Have it closed. Maybe with a nice choker or necklace. Yes. It looks divine. Even let's add a belt for yes. more definition to get that really Dior look. That's really nice. It is. Then we have also this piece, which is a skirt. Um, it's very Dior because it's A-line and the definition comes through the belt. Mm -hmm. So if you have something a bit more fitted, it looks just divine. For the fall collection, we have the Misa print, which is this gorgeous leopard print. Mm -hmm. It's a very Dior print, but we haven't had it in many, many years. But now it's back with a bang and it's so popular. So many people love it. Um, just really quickly to say as well, because this was something I found out. You know the Mitzas, everyone? I didn't realize Mitza was the surname of a lady and this collection's named after her you know more than i yes so basically this is the misa print as we call it and she used to misa used to be the most fabulous woman in paris at mm -hmm. that time in the uh, 50s actually you you model it nicely it actually looks really good no it does i think with leopard print mm -hmm. if you like it there's a way of wearing it and it's just the tiniest bit isn't it like the bag that with a black outfit this is a black plain. outfit this why not with a uh, denim how much is this so this one is let me find out the ticket yes this one is three thousand seven hundred three thousand and do you know something for a bag that big where prices go three thousand seven hundred and if you're if you're thinking i like the price but this is too much you can get this in plain black in the d light can't you you can as well and is the d light cheaper it's around the same price okay. but also you can get leather for the same price oh, true. Um, you could the abc lady Dior. so you yeah. on this strap you have you can have charms mm -hmm. or um symbols or letters as well yeah. then we have also something very colorful yeah this is inspired by the italian brand called firushi mm -hmm. so firushi in the 60s this just to let everyone know this section here is is just one that that's another um you know what i mean a don't story. you it's a story, story and then this one here is its own separate one so here is a continuation 
So we had checks in the past mm -hmm. uh, and now it's returning because it's very Dior and you have these beautiful uh, t-shirts as well with this oh, artwork. Sweet. It's very, very sweet. I really adore it. Mm -hmm. Then you also have dots. It's very polka dots. It's one of the symbols at Dior. Mm -hmm. So that's what you will see quite a lot of and also small hearts. And here we have once again the Misa print. This is more of the pop art that we have. Yeah. Um, so here you have um, the Firouche inspiration. Then here we have one of the main. Scenes. I've seen this. this yeah. Coat. It's like a raincoat. I would suggest, Sophie, you need to try this. Okay. Okay. We're going to remove we can this do right that. Then. So you can wear it like tucked in with some jewelry there as mm -hmm. well. We have this really fun, different skirt. I've never seen this in the market before. Now I want to say. This looks weird, okay, but a couple of years ago you had this in black and I tried it on and it looks so cool and sexy and, and like edgy but then you can make your top half more feminine and like ladylike. It's just, it, it looks weird. When, when Anne Lee told me to try it on, mm -hmm. honestly I thought, uh, and then I tried it on and I was like, actually it's really cool. It is super cool because also it, it has these sporty elements so it can be worn with like a Dior hoodie if yes. you will. I said to Enrique, every, you guys love the bags so we're going to have a look at some of the newer bags that are in that collection as well as just some of the kind of classic ones that I really think are always worth getting if you're into this kind of stuff. Oh, there's a new one here. Let's have a look. This beautiful Lady Dior oh, wow. special edition with the hearts. And look, even the charms. It has a little heart, which is so sweet. Is that leather. ceramic? It is, correct. That is really nice. Then we have the reverse, the two mm -hmm. three, which is the other one printer we have. It has yes. The then the continuation is here on the uh, D-Lite. This is the latest one that we have. That's lovely. It's, it's really, really nice. nice. And also it ha it's full of embroidery. So that's really important to highlight. Yeah. And um, because this is what makes the bag very special. Mm -hmm. Then we have the saddle bag it's as well. The saddle. Also in the reverse tour de Gris with the animal print. Really successful, mm -hmm. really gorgeous. Just a very unique bag. Oh, I see what you mean. Really gorgeous. So that because normally, for everyone to know, normally so, it looks like that. So this is new, actually. Oh, is so, it? So this is, as you can see, it's kind of like a bit kind of Hang glossy. On. That's gun metal, isn't it? Exactly. So it's completely different. So it's, that's not silver. That's kind of like that gun metal pewter exactly. grey. So the price for this gorgeous Lady Dior, it's 3350 3350 Exactly. So this is the small size, small. which will be uh, ABC Lady Dior. So okay. It, so it comes with the strap, yes. with the letters or with the symbols. Mm -hmm. So just to say on this one, everyone, the strap that comes with this is not the really thin kind of off cut looking it's it's a thick and you also get in the price you get up to three charms you can have your initial or whatever you desire oh yes because the the handle on it i think also goes to justify a bit so we have here on the strap you see in this part you can put three letters come mm, for three or mm. three symbols so do you see what I mean, guys? This this is more of a thought about strap that you would actually wear this bag, you know, on your shoulder with, as opposed to the regular, um, so for example, this bag here, that doesn't come with that strap. That's like a separate thing, the strap that that comes, uh, that probably doesn't even have one, does it? No, actually this comes with this strap. Does it really? It does, it does come with this strap. The only one that doesn't come with this strap is this, this is an additional strap. Mm -hmm. to it that's why it's they've changed a that bit. haven't they it's, that's really good yes because some of them come with strap some of them they don't come with strap usually in the d light it comes with its own strap and um, in the saddle you need to purchase the strap separately okay so that one you pay separately and those straps can be like anywhere from seven to over a thousand pounds can't they around that price about yes. that and it goes up depending on the um, on the strap and the details and the work. See, I think in that case then, subject to how much this is, this could be a good, a good one. 
3,450 and you get the strap with it. So if you're wondering why this is more priced, this one because it has so much embroidery, so much work done to it. Yeah, it really, um, I'm hoping I can show that on there. You can see here all the beautiful embroidery. That's a, that's a that's a good buy. That is a very good buy. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful gift as well for somebody. Self gift. Why not? It works the very best. <laughs> and then we've also got the bobby bag, which I think this is a new leather as well, isn't it? That more of a textured. It is. It's uh, more supple. It's very soft, and it's grain. Mm -hmm. So if you. are if you want the bag that you don't need to baby this, just, just put it on. You don't need to think so much about it. This is perfect because it will not scratch. It's quite soft, okay. but very structured at the same time. And then we've got it here in more of a, t a pinky taupe. This is a new color for this season. So it's um, a bit kind of darker, like a dark pink almost. It's looking, I don't know it's looking I the wrong color on there, but it's actually a really nice pinky, pinky mauvey. I'll try and find a picture online and put that up instead. <laughs> yes, because it looks very different on camera. It does. Just seen this as well. So this is the Caro bag in the larger size, but look. See the guitar strap, but it comes in the seasonal leopard as well. Just to let any of you know. See, you could get yourself, let's say you've already got a black, a black bag, any bag. Black Lady Dior, saddle bag. If you like this, but you don't want to go and buy a whole bag in it, you can get the strap. Have it either way with the logo showing or not. It's quite sweet, actually. When you showed it to me, I must confess, I was like, Ooh. but this is what I mean. So much of this stuff can look up strange until you put it on. And imagine you, ha you have some layering under as mm. well. So if you have left thing, it will fall in another in a different way. But this is a statement piece, of course. It's one Definitely. of the statements of the season as well. How do you feel in it? I actually quite like it. It's, cool. it's quite, I like the cut of it. It's quite cool. You have your Dior boots on. My boots. You, you have like a jacket under. Mm. This top on is yeah. And we also have, I think it's sold out, but we have the matching hat, like a teddy hat Gee. for it. Yeah, it's very powerful statement. What's the price of this? It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's 4,700. 4,700. Mm -hmm. So for anyone watching, this is it. And I think this also comes in the pink leopard, although this is, this would be my personal favorite because it's more, if you wore this over a darker outfit, it's more muted. If you're like, I like the logo, but it's a bit too much, I think you could mute it down. And then here it is over my outfit without the blazer underneath. Just to give you an idea. I'm just gonna show you that this as well, because this is almost like, um, I was gonna say girls grain. Oh no, it kind of is. Yeah, the neckline on it is lovely. I'm in a fitting room. Can you hear that? That is the air conditioning. It's coming from up there somewhere. It is so cold. I don't want to try anything on. It is May and it is freezing. It Honestly, I can't. Can anyone believe it's June next month? How fast is this year going? Anyway, so I don't want to... I don't want to get changed, but I'm going to have to, so let me show you. These are the items that I'm going to try. I have got, you know the uh, pale colour, oblique? This is a hoodie, like, but it's zip up actually, this one. I saw this um, on the website. It is a chain belt. How cool is that? A bit like the Chanel ones. How much is this? How much? I'm going to guess five five nine oh my gosh 940 pounds well you know anyway um this is a newer version 
of you know the um, Montaigne belt from last last year. How much is this? I, well, if that chain one's nine hundred, I'm gonna go one. Oh God, one thousand one hundred because it's leather. Maybe. How's that on 660? I don't know. Anyway, let's try this on and I'm gonna freeze to death. I quite like this jacket. Nice. The jeans, right, so the jeans are quite a bit too big and they don't look flattering at all, but I've seen the picture of how these are meant to fit and let me tell you, they look really good because they are very, they're meant to be very tight on the waist. And Enrique has just done a trick for the sake of trying to show it. He's pinned the back a bit, but I'm just going to demonstrate because they don't have these in my size. So if if they were going to fit, thank you, Enrique. If they would fit, they'd be seriously tight like that. So can you see? It's really actually good on the waist, and they'd be they'd be slimmer on the leg as well, wouldn't they? It would kind of be more like that, thank you. So it would be more like that kind of look. So I think these jeans are really nice, um, if you can get them. <laughs> if you can get them in your size. Yeah, they're really nice. I wanted to show you all the chain belts. So unlike the Chanel ones that are meant to have a bit that hangs down, this one doesn't. This is meant to be quite, quite fitted. And I was just saying to Enrique, I think that this if you imagine that you've got like a fitted jacket, um, let's say you've got a fitted jacket and you want to emphasize the waist, that across the middle of, of the jacket, do you see what I mean? Would really make it, I think, look quite nice, like more hourglass, you know, the cashmere um, jacket coat which I showed you. It's really soft, you know, this feels like a dressing gown. <laughs> in a good way. And I've just put them back on with my own trousers and boots, but you know, I could have this anyway. Right, I'm gonna do this up now. You could even tie those straps kind of behind, see like that and have it, have it a bit more fitted. It's quite nice though because it's very casual but let me tell you it's so warm now to show you it's really annoying because the color on this is weird the color of it but this is really nice as well now look enrique was showing me the zip on this can you see it's got kind of like a loop thing so this is it here It is. Good. Yes, yeah, so you can see it's got the rever reversible on the hood. Focus on the hood. On the hood there, it's got the reversible oblique. Yeah, in the back there. And then a lot of you were asking to see the book tote, so here it is. enjoyed that I um, I got quite lucky and got to film loads of stuff in Dior including that new collection so I hope for any of you who were interested that that was helpful I do want to say that apparently those aren't all of the new bags in the collection they're only kind of the first wave that Dior and Harrods have received so if you kind of liked the direction of those bags and the freshness of them but you kind of weren't feeling the cheetah print then 
there are more coming in but i thought i'd do a haul show you what i got um and also not just show you what i got from harrods but i've got some other stuff in general so i did buy something from dior and it was completely um i i actually not that it's a problem but i was not anticipating buying anything that day um sorry that's fallen over but the thing that i ended up buying which i just tried on just at the end was this uh cashmere hoodie and um do you know do you know something i put it on and I, first of all, I thought this is so warm, but it's so thin. It's, and the thing is for anyone in the UK right now, where is summer? Where is late spring, summer? I, I don't understand what's going on with the weather. It's been really co unseasonably cold, I feel. I went out yesterday and it was so windy and freezing and I went out in a puffer coat with a big scarf. I thought it's May, it's June next month. Who can believe it's June next month? Anyway. I put this on and I thought it's a crying shame that the temperature is what it is but this is the kind of thing that I know I will wear because I could probably wear this on a, on a not so freezing day. I think I could definitely wear this on its own like with a t-shirt underneath. So this was it. And also the other thing that I liked about it is sometimes in Dior, they have knit sw knit jumpers that you could uh, go inside out, but then when you do, the kind of writing on the back's actually reversed. Uh, but with this, it's properly designed to be uh, an inside out thing. So um, where's the zip? The zip on it has got a rounded top. And what it lets you do is you can flip it the other way so it is actually meant to be worn the other way as well and then you can see on the inside the Christian Dior is not written backwards the other stuff that I wanted to show you first of all this is kind of weird and I need to there's something behind you I just need to get actually before I forget because some of you might be interested in this I found I was on Instagram a few weeks back and I found this, uh, I found this lady who was making her own clothes. Really nice knitted jumpers. And you know the Isabel Morant. So this is actually Isabel Morant. You know how the shoulders do that and then, and the jumpers are really expensive. She made her own and she knitted it. And it was from this place called We Are Knitters. Although since buying from here, I've discovered that there is another place called Wool and the Gang, I think it's called. And Stitch and Story is another one where you can buy a kit. So you get everything in the kit that you need to be able to make the item on the front. Now, I got this one. I've also made, which I'm very pleased with myself because I've never knitted in my life. And I, do, I don't know what I'm doing. First thing I made was this. And it's a snood, which came in a package that looks like this. I couldn't actually work out the particular stitch this was. I couldn't get it right. So I just, I, I did this really basic stitch that I found, which is apparently called a garter stitch. And I quite liked it. And you can pick the color wool as well. So in your package, you can, when you're picking it, you can choose the colors. And I quite liked this color. I thought it was quite fun. And also I wore it yesterday. And because it's summer and I don't want to wear anything too dark, it's like, it was actually quite nice. Here's the final one. And let me show you the really nice picture of the jumper. I think that jumper is really nice and I would personally really like it. And I would personally also like to be able to say that I've made it. Now it transpires, it's very difficult. And see this bit here, this ribbed bit on the hem, I cannot do it, please. For anyone who knows what they're doing, Frank, I've got to be honest, whenever I knit, it makes me really angry uh, and I, I it's so weird I think it's frustration I've never felt anger like it until I've started knitting because I don't know what I'm doing and in my head I'm like I want to get this made and I want to wear it tonight and there's no there's no chance of that but here is the problem so I picked this color which on there looks horrible I think but it's called sky lovers and it's pinky but it's got grey running through it. Here is where I'm stuck and anyone who knows what they're doing before I show you the next thing 
uh, that I've purchased. Please can anyone help me with this? I have tried nine times to get that ribbing bit right. These are my last two attempts and they are a hot mess. I can't even say the word on here, but let's just say I'm very disappointed in myself because I can't do it. Now, so that rib stitch, just really quickly, because anyone who's not into knitting is gonna be like, yeah, I don't care. The thing that I'm struggling with, with a rib stitch, I know that it's stitch one, purl one, and I've managed to get that right, that took ages. But my problem is when I go to the next row down, it all messes up. And then the next row after that, I know you're meant to purl the pearls and knit the knits. I can't do it. And this bit just looks like junk. And I don't know, I wonder whether it's the way that I'm turning the thing at the end of it. So when I get to the end, I'm wondering if it's got something to do with which way that I carry on so knitting, whether it's that way or that way. I mean, it's all on the stick and I just don't know what I'm doing. So anyone who knows how to do a blooming rib stitch, please can you tell me why mine looks like that? Oh yeah, the next thing I was gonna show for you is in this box. I don't know how many of you are gonna be into this or not, but for some of you that are, you might be interested. So there is this place that I have bought from before, and there's actually two places. One is called Artbox, and the second one is a sister company to it, and it's called Tofu Cute. And it does kind of um, things like this. See this, this is actually, this is a compact mirror. However, look on the back, it's got tweezers that you can remove. And then on the front, it looks like that. The next thing I purchased is this, because you know, I really like Miffy and also Hello Kitty. And these are gold plated stud earrings. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. They're still nice, but I thought they were gonna be bigger than this. Oh. Actually, for any of you who saw my vlog a couple of weeks ago where I got the, I don't know what that's called, conch, that pierced. I forgot to show you, that's it. There. So I, I already had that um, stud earring, but I didn't have anywhere for it to go because at one point I had it up here, but it started to dig in, so I, I swapped it for something else. The next is, I, um, I've got used to sleeping with an eye mask and I can't sleep without one now. And I saw this one, which is a satin eye mask. And it also comes with its own carry case, which is quite nice. I know some of you that watch are into BTS. So am I. And I shall show you this. I've got a, well, I had one of those litre water bottles. And um, I went to a restaurant a couple of weeks ago and I left it there. And I was gonna replace it and I saw this and I thought that's really nice. And it's got a carabiner on it so you could hang it on something. And I checked it and you can get half a liter in this, but it's also like a thermos so you could keep a warm or a cold drink in, in it. Then I got this. You know when I do those videos where I show a handbag and I show how much you can fit in? I've got quite a few, I've got some behind you, I've got quite a few of these pouches because I have small bags and I quite like when I change them, I, I have all my makeup in here and sort of blotting paper and I wanted tweezers as well because I've always got an eyelash in my eye and I saw that and I thought that's really good so I can keep that in there too. And I like to have these because they hold what I need, you know, chewing gum, lipstick, I've got a mini compact powder, uh, and they're, yeah, I just find them to be pretty good. And there's different designs, but I chose this one, which I think is Karopi, I think so. Then there is this, which is to go with the mirror, actually. Then a lip balm, um, let me show you this close up. You could get this in all different characters. You know, again, whenever I do those handbag videos of what fits in, I tend to have fun stuff like this because I just think it's really sweet. And I do have a lot of you say, oh, where have you got that from? Um, and 
a lot of the time it's this particular place. So that's everything from there. I'm now going to do a mail time, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to have to film this on a different day. So my outfit's going to change in a second. And the reason for that is when you see the amount of mail that's come through from you all, I've actually filled an entire shopping bag with it. And there, I'm not going to be able to read all of it out. Even if I, trust me, I've got so much that um, if I read everything out, I could easily do a video that's two hours long. There's that much. And I know that um, I know that a lot of you kind of aren't really into this. But anyway, the reason why I'm going to do it in the next part of this video is because I'm going to go through it this evening and I'm going to commence writing back to you all of to all of you. Um, I should say for any of you who wrote to me in the last mail time, I wrote back to all of you and I think I've had about three of my letters returned because the addresses were wrong. So Miriam in Brooklyn, I think, yours came back. Andrea in Bavaria and Katia in Porto in Portugal. All three of you, your letters came back to me. So if any of you are watching this and you're kind of like, oh, you didn't write back. Uh, I did, um, but please tell you what, please email me if you're, if you're um, Katia, Miriam or Andrea, feel free to email me. Uh, and give me a right address and I will send your letter to you. Back again, as promised, a couple of days later, uh, to do a mail time. Now, before I do it, I need to show you, I have got a serious backlog with this mail time because this bag is, in t is full to the brim of your letters. Um, I've got parcels from you. And what's really annoying is that with the mail that I get, it turns up in flurries, so it doesn't it doesn't arrive as per when you sent it to me. It arrives just in one lump sum. So I, for example, I got December's mail in March, and then Easter's mail is starting to come through now. And so any, I always write back to all of you. So any of you who wrote to me and you're thinking, I never heard back. Honestly, if even if you wrote back to me as far away as December, I've got stuff still turning up from them then. So uh, I'm not being rude. And I am actually this week gonna spend some time writing back to all of you. And I just want to read out really quickly some of the names that I've written off the mail that I've seen so that for any, of, there's more than this, okay? But for any of you that have written uh, and you're wondering where your mail is, your, your name might be on this list. So I've got Gary in the US, you used to live in Texas and I think you said you'd moved to Virginia. Uh, I've got Product Junkie, uh, Mo from Alexandria, uh, in the US, Caleb from Michigan, Isadora from Brazil, Joanne from Arizona, Linda, Linda from Canada, Katerina from Porto in Portugal. Now, Katerina, I need to let you know, I wrote to you and your letters come back to me because it says that there's no such address. And Mariam in Brooklyn, your letters also come back to me. And I feel like there's a third person as well. I've basically had three letters returned recently that I sent to you. When did I last do that mail time? Was it December or January? I can't remember. I've also got Victoria in Luton in the UK, Gail in Queensland, Australia, Georgina in Leeds, Beatrice in Portugal, Danny in Queensland, Australia as well, Anna, who writes to me quite a lot, Anna Frigo, you've written to me so many times and there isn't an address on your card. So, um, if get in touch. Giselle also from Illinois. I think I've got one of your cards here. Tina and Derek from Guernsey and Donna from Illinois and also Karen. Karen who writes to me a lot. Now the way this goes if you're watching and you're thinking what is this? It's kind of become a thing over the years where I started having you quite uh, quite a few of you write to me just say hi and talk and stuff and then it's grown from there and that's why there's so much mail coming through because I think so many of you see this and you're like yeah I want to write. So what I do if you're going to write to me a lot of you also that aren't in this mail time 
you aren't in it as well because you want to talk about things that are private so you can write to me and if it's just private you can write on the top of the letter don't read this out on camera and i'll put my p.o box detail below also sorry please don't feel that you have to send me parcels so many of you do and i tell you what when you send me parcels i feel so i actually feel guilty i feel like you're someone who's gone out of your way and your expense to buy me something and it's so sweet of you and I, I adore everything that you have ever sent me. Please don't feel that you have to send me anything. Your letters are perfect and I just wouldn't want any of you thinking I'd love to write but I don't, I don't have the money or I don't know what to get you or you know what do I get you that's good enough. Please don't. Um, the first letter that I'm going to read out is from Abby. Abby sent me something amazing and Abby, when I opened it, I, I, I should have opened it on camera. The reason why I didn't is you wrapped it up so well and I thought, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to unwrap it and it would have taken a while, so I opened it. But I wish I opened it on camera because I was opening it and I was like, <gasps> what you sent me is incredible. I've been watching your videos on YouTube for years and I always love your how honest you are in everything that you do. You're such an inspiration and just the way that you uh, like to save up for things that I love no matter no matter what others think. I always felt though you are like a big sister to me. Oh um, I really love seeing your bag collections, shopping life, talks about money and work. During lockdown I've been struggling with post-covid fatigue and I had to stop this hobby of mine which was uh, running before covid. I've always wanted to blog about beauty and skincare and a little bit of fashion as well but was always too shy of what people would think because you are so honest and down to earth and I'm into luxury fashion and lifestyle so my new hobby was to start my YouTube and Instagram. I, start, I started during the summer and now I'm fully loving everything about it. Thank you for being such a great inspiration and also wishing you Merry Christmas. That's how old this mail is, okay? I'm very sorry. Oh, I left in here a cute trinket box. You handmade it. No, you didn't. It's, wait till I show you everyone. It's incredible. You made it. Some of my beauty favorites. Abby, if you have an Etsy or anything, please let me know because I will share that because what you've made is beautiful. I had no clue. Everyone, look at this what Abby has made. Look at this. You could, look at the sparkle. You could sell these. So beautiful. And then look on the inside. How sweet is that? I honestly, Abby, this is completely up my street. I love this kind of thing. And the fact that you have made it makes it even more special. And I think that this kind of thing would do so well on Etsy. This might be the hobby that you were talking about that you had to stop because I can see why that would probably take you quite a long time to construct. Abby also sent me two other really amazing things. The first one, see this is why I love Asian stuff. The first thing, oh we've got light shining on it. Asian makeup which I love and then Abby also sent me um, an eyeshadow palette as well. And I'm just so into this, thank you so much Abby. Uh, prepare because I, I am going to write back. Let me just put your card. Now the next is from, let me see, the next one's from the US. This is from Laurie. Dear Sophie, thank you so much for your YouTube channel. It's so wonderful hearing about all of your tips and tricks around designer items as well as finance, beauty uh, and kind of career advice. Oh, you say that you've grown to see me as kind of a friend during COVID and I ap appreciate your positivity and honesty. See, that's something that you guys probably wouldn't think um, and I genuinely mean it. I feel that you are also friends and last time, in, last year in particular with COVID, COVID was, you know, are uh, like way stressful um, and I'm actually quite tired at the moment because I don't know for any of the UK but lockdown's being released and I'm making up for lost time and I'm so tired because I'm trying to work at the same time as 
going out and having fun. During COVID, it was a very stressful time, very uncertain, and you know, everyone was locked away and you, you weren't able to see people. And I tell you what, having, you would think it's weird, but having all of you, the fact that you're all in different countries as well, was comforting to know what was going on in your country and how it was affecting you. It was almost like you weren't, you weren't living it on your own. And it felt like a really, I, I, I appreciated the community actually even more last year. You've made me feel that it's okay to like luxury instead of feeling ashamed to work hard and, pur and purchase what makes us feel proud, feminine and happy. Who else would understand the excitement of that first Chanel per, uh, pair of ballerina flats? This is another thing I kind of think in life. Um, we're all human at the end of it. And humans, we, even, even people that are very, you know, they don't want for much. They'll want for something. Like, I really think people are like that. Everyone's got their thing. My best example is a friend of mine is isn't interested in fashion at all, isn't interested in cars, isn't interested in makeup, but what her and her wife spend their money on are expensive dinners out. I'm talking about going to uh, London restaurants and spending a thousand pounds on like a 20 course dinner for two and they will save up and that's what they like doing. So I think everyone has their thing and uh, I think the thing that I really struggle with on YouTube and I struggle with it a lot is I never thought I'd have a channel this big and I miss those days of getting 300 views on a video and having a really small community and just being able to talk about what you love and I but the thing is I haven't changed in that respect in that I still talk about what I love um, and what I'm passionate about but what I struggle about with YouTube is YouTube's very materialistic driven and if you do videos that aren't about materialistic stuff they they don't they don't really get watched as much um, it's it's not what people want put it that way and so um, I like to make what all of you enjoy watching and like for instance right now I know that there will be the best part of probably a hundred people watching this um, which is cool but probably as well because this video is going to be about an hour long but yeah it's one thing that I struggle with with YouTube is that I feel that it can be a, um, a very product driven place uh, but then kind of as a woman I get it you know, I'm, I'm, I think, well, you know, I like nice things. What's new out? And I quite like looking at the way people put outfits together. So I do get it. But yeah, when it comes to you feeling bad or ashamed about what you like, that's where I think that you shouldn't feel ashamed because genuinely every, there is not one person on this earth, probably except for nuns and monks, I, I knew this guy that was a priest years ago and he had his thing. He, he was into food, food, wine, and he had loads of animals, pets. That was his thing. So I think everyone's got their thing. Don't feel worried about it. Warm regards from sunny Florida in the US from Laurie. That is so nice of you. Thank you, Laurie. Now the next card, this is from the UK, but you haven't put a return address on it, so I can't write back. But I shall show you it here so that if you did send it, you know that I got it. And this is from Layla. To Sophie, it's been a while since I wrote to you. Hang on a minute, Layla, I remember writing back to you. I think you wrote to me about those Chanel trainers and you were saying, how have you kept them so clean? And I was like, I actually haven't, that's the problem. They look gross, close up. Um, yes, yeah, so you say it's been a while since I wrote and as much as it's been a long year, I also feel like the year has gone really quick. I feel the same way, particularly about this year. Does, does anyone feel slightly scared at how fast this year has gone past? Because we're in June next month, we're halfway through the year. I feel like it's gone so quickly and it, it could also be to do with the fact that in the UK, as I say, we haven't really had a spring or a summer. It feels like winter's just stuck with us. Um, I mean, mentally, I still feel like I'm in February. It's very odd, um, but yeah, it's gone, it's gone really quickly. You say though, that the good thing is with last year, you've renovated your entire house 
and you put it on the market and it was sold within a matter of two weeks for more than the asking price. I've also focused on my fitness and general looking after myself and I've recently done a big spring summer online shop and I cannot waste, wait to dress up and go out. Your videos on YouTube have also kept me entertained, sharing all of your ideas and hauls. Thank you. I'm also setting up an online business back at my parents until my dream house comes along. Love, Layla. Thank you so much, Layla. I think I'm going to do... Um, two more letters and then two more parcels and then we are done this is from the us from sasha and you have said i wanted to thank you for your educational and frank youtube videos on luxury handbags after a, after a stressful and never-ending 2020 i decided i decided to splurge on purses prior to that i only had coach items can i just say coach items are really good. I know that in the US, a lot of you have told me that coach has got a different perception there uh, because I think you've told me that you can get it at outlets and stuff like that. But I, I feel that in the UK and maybe in Europe, I don't know, but in the UK, they're not as commonplace. You don't see them everywhere. I think probably brands like Michael Kors are a bit more commonplace here. Nothing wrong with Michael Kors, but maybe that's closer to what you think but um I really like coach bags I think you get loads for your money and they're really well made and I really like the designs of them anyway so you've said that you only had or have coach items that you purchased years ago and the reviews have been immensely helpful thank you Sasha now I'm going to read out one from Elise and then just two more uh, parcels. Dear Sophie I'm a 17 year old girl from Austin in Texas I'm writing let me make sure. I am writing to tell you how much myself and my mum love your videos. Almost every night of this pandemic, we'll flip on the TV to see if you've got a new video. And when there's not, we go and watch your old ones and we're almost out of videos. Oh God, that is so... I think my videos are the most boring things ever. And the fact that any of you watch them, this is this is what I mean. I feel really humbled about this. I mean, how did this happen? YouTube's always been something that I've done because I thoroughly enjoy it. It's a hobby that I do because I just have a passion for it. I could talk for a million years, as you're finding out right now. And so doing YouTube and being able to chat to, to what is a group of you and then go and talk to you in the comments, I love it. I'm addicted to it. I would actually say, the reason why I still do YouTube, beyond the fact that I enjoy it, I'm addicted to it. You come across as super friendly and my mum thinks you're really funny. <laughs> Tell David that, he would disagree. Before we stumbled across your channel, we couldn't have cared less about high fashion and luxury, but you've helped me grow such an appreciation for Dior, Chanel, etc. And I'm currently saving up for my first item. You just want a keychain, but still, Thank you for your videos and for bringing my mother and I so much joy. This is from Elise and her mum, Beth. The two more parcels. The first one is this. This is from Thelma in Baltimore in the US. And you have sent me, this is what I mean. You don't have to do this. And I feel really bad that you guys do this. You sent me this lovely uh, grocery bag. Look at this. Do you know, I, I use these so much. What I do with them, I keep them in the car because you can fold them up. I keep them in the car for when I need to go into a shop, but I'm not doing a full shop. I just need a few things. Is this to do, I think this is to do with the Baltimore National Heritage Area. And it's got all of the different areas on it. And it looks like they've entered contests and these are all finalists. Wow, that, do you know that's lovely because that's something to do with where you live. And this is what I mean, when I get to learn more about you, it's, it's really nice. Your letter, Happy New Year, do you see what I mean? It all turns up so late. Thank you for your blessed vlogs and keep up the good work. Love from Thelma and you've actually put your email on this, but you've also put your address. How many of you prefer an email reply and how many of you prefer an actual letter? I like a letter in the post, although I haven't written in so long that whenever I try and write, it doesn't your hand and your arm 
really hurt. One more thing. This is from Sheila in the UK. And um, Sheila, I've actually DM'd you on Instagram. I follow a lot of you back actually. And um, Sheila sent me, Sheila, I haven't heard back from you, but if you're watching this, I DM'd you, go and check your DMs. Sheila sent some really cute stuff for Easter, which is so thoughtful as well. Look at this, a really cute bunny. And then uh, you did send some chocolate eggs, but I ate them. <laughs> they were really good. This is the problem. I have them in the office and then I just eat them. This one I'm saving. Ooh, there's an egg in it. No, look at this. This is this Heston line at Waitrose. There's some really tasty thought out foods in it. And I can't wait to try that. This is nice. Check out this card. Oh, wow. Do you know, I think I've told you, I keep every single letter that you guys write to me. I have got two large size bags full of every letter that you've sent to me since about 2016. That's so cool. This says, to Sophie, David and the bunnies, hopefully this Easter will be our last in lockdown. Keep safe, enjoy the chocolates and have a wonderful Easter. Onwards and upwards, Sheila and the pups. I definitely do hope it will be the last lockdown. The final thing I'm going to show you are these beautiful writing cards with glittery macarons on them. And I'm just gonna, gonna read the letter because my battery is flashing at me now. Can I read this out? This is from Katie. Oh wow, this is nice paper. Dear Sophie, I hope you and your family are doing well. I discovered your channel towards the end of last year, but I'm not big into social media and I don't leave comments, but I did subscribe. You've mentioned in your mail time that you love papyrus cards. I do. I think that's a US thing as well. Oh wow, this is nice. You've got me a box of note cards. I thought you would like... Oh, I thought you'd like the macarons. I know that you say in the videos that you do on career and finances that they don't get the views, but please keep doing them. After watching you talk about your personal experiences, it actually has got me to the, the courage um, to ask for things like a pay rise, I think you're mentioning here. Tip, the, company, the company that you work for typically does a year review thing and I will give small and will give small raises. However, this year they decided they weren't going to do it to anyone, give raises probably because of COVID. You did a presentation, which I talk about, that you gave to your manager to discuss um, your kind of progress and stuff and what you'd achieved. And she said that, I think you said that your manager was really pleased with you for kind of just being so proactive with yourself. Oh, she also shared your presentation with the other manager. And the great news is I got a rise. Not the amount I wanted, but it's better than nothing. Guys, you have to try this. Whenever I used to have reviews at work, I would make a full on PowerPoint presentation that I would print out and I would just go through Oh, do you know I did this this year and I did that? Because, you know, after a whole year, people forget. And also it's good for yourself. I used to do the same thing. When I went for job interviews, I'd go through the job spec and I would make a presentation. And do you know, I had this thing where if, if I go for an interview and I knew I didn't want the job, I used to go back for the second and I wanted to get the job. And it was kind of, um, even though I didn't want it, it's kind of that knowing that you that you got it. And when I used to go with a presentation, I tell you, I never went to an interview where the interviewer was like, oh, other people do this. At every interview I went for, they were amazed at. And can I just say, for any of you doing reviews, for any of you doing interviews, it is worth it. It's a pain in the butt because you've got to make a different presentation per job interview but it's so good at being able to visually demonstrate what you do and I think it shows you in the best light it shows that you're really switched on and that you know what you're doing you've also sent a whole bunch of video ideas and some of these look really good I'm going I'm going to read through these I'll also write back to you Katie but well done on that pay rise